Hello! Hi there, this is Katya Patel, Zest for Yoga. Um, today I'm talking to Laura Lefebvre, my lovely and esteemed colleague, and we are going together to talk about yoga teacher training. And here she is, Laura. And we're live with Laura. waiting hello there hello this is nice <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed right okay well um, before we start i will put the comment here at the bottom what we are talking about and how are you i'm good i'm good Katya. thank you um it's uh the weather's gone a little bit cooler and um it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas as they say <laughs> it's um it's so nice to see you today and I, I see a couple of people have joined as well I don't know if they want to say where they're coming from if they're if they're local because um I am I'm southwest London and you are over in Ickenham Uxbridge way um, that's so right if uh, if those people who've joined just want to type in and say hi and where they're from. Um, and then it's so nice to see you today, Katya. This is my first Instagram live. How exciting. I know. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All good stuff. All good stuff. All good stuff. Absolutely. Good. So today we, we are talking about... Um, online training yeah we, we always will talk about yoga teacher training and today we are talking about online or in person um what um what our thoughts are on that so laura any thoughts from you yeah i mean it's it's quite definitely in these times of global pandemic the yeah. yoga world has just been catapulted into uh, the online world and we've been so it's been so fantastic because it's been a platform for uh, for for all of us that it means that we've been able to stay with our community and still been able to to work and also to yes. offer offer yoga to those people who absolutely needed it and um, so it has opened up a whole world to us that we didn't have before um, and very much so in our training, in our training course, and um, in, I, I, in most of the British Wheel of Yoga yoga courses, we're definitely looking at this blended learning so that uh, we can upskill and we're able, to, uh, we're able to find the skills to be able to teach to that uh, in that medium. With regard to doing all of your all of your teacher training course online, and I know there's a few courses out there that are completely online. Mm. Yeah. There, you know, the, the pros, the pros and cons of it. Um, when we take a course online, it's it's the good thing is is that we're we don't have to travel. There's many benefits is that we don't have to travel. Yeah. And life does definitely get in the way. And, you know, if you've got kids or if you're sick or, the, you know, the, the network, the transportation network is down, to be able to have that medium to tap in and to, and to have the online, the online part of the course is a huge, huge benefit for sure. Absolutely, yes, yes. To do the whole course online, I think... It, you're missing out on so much more because when we come together in person, we're able mm. to, there's, there's so many, there's, there's, there's so much to it. And you come together and you're able to, part of the teacher training is observation and you're yes. able to observe in person people's, uh, how people are taking their body shapes you're able mm. to find how they're breathing very, very subtly, all these subtle nuances that you wouldn't pick up via a screen. And That's true. 
and also um, looking at looking at a posture it's 360 degrees whenever you do your asana your asana analysis that's really important to be in to be in the room so that you can pick up on those as i say those subtleties those nuances um yes and there's there's something that there's something about being in person that really we're able to we're able to read a room we're able to mm -hmm. read body language we're able yes. to part of the teacher training is you read the room you read your students the body language yes. you pick up on you know how they're feeling you know the words that they say and part of the training course is very much about looking at those skills of in-person of in-person training mm -hmm. and whenever you come together in a in a group there's is there something to be said for the community the people that you meet the the yes. peers the peers that you have that shared that shared yes. experience and yes even things like having a you know a coffee break together or yes. you're parking up and you you walk from the car to the to the venue or you get the you get the tube together you know there's something to be said for those interactions um mm -hmm. which are really are really very important one of the one of the things that we're offering as well is the ability to do the blended the blended learning so the majority of our course is uh in is in person um and then we then we have i think it's a six uh, 70 30 split 60 40 split um, yeah. where, where we do um some practices um in uh, online. online and there are yes, and there's there's some things that really lend themselves to that maybe some of the lectures um where it can be very uh, you know one dimensional um but we can take that what we learn online and we can apply it in person so it yes. really gives the it really gives the scope to be able to um really embed what we've learned put it into practice yes, so yeah for me you know there's there's a lot of benefits to being in person uh as a, a versus completely online you know mm -hmm. online is um you know we, we we want to be able to get in there meet people you know build up relationships mm -hmm. with with our colleagues yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think what is also, you know, in terms of the practicality, um, although, like you said earlier, you can see someone uh, on the screen as well, um, but it is very difficult to see the subtleties. And from these subtleties, we also then understand and decide if we need to adjust the student or not also the students as uh, the uh, it themselves you know, amongst themselves so if any adjustment needs is needed um, or um, or not and um, and what you said earlier in in terms of we are holding the space um, and this is also um, I think a, a skill that needs to be learned with the energy of the people, because on a screen, we are on a screen and um, we can do a lot there, but we don't have this energy field of people. So we don't really deal with these, um, the energy within the room that we need to hold, that we need to be able to hold. And, um, and for that, I think it is very much important that at least some contact is there where this skill um, is needed and where, is, where it is learned because it can be quite overwhelming if you're not used to having people, there is a screen and there's something that the screen takes from us, you know, from the interaction. And uh, it, it is all slightly remote. And uh, so you're dealing with a face and uh, maybe with a body and maybe you can see the whole body, but um, you're not dealing quite with that energetic 
quality of um, of someone and um, learning to hold the space is really important. So what we are doing um, or planning for our next course in terms of the online content will be also uh, very much the anatomy because the anatomy can be challenging and uh, we uh, are able more so nowadays we have 3D um, structures and programs so we can see more how people are moving, what muscles are involved and, um, and then when we have this picture which is online actually better than if you're looking at uh, at a book and the and the, the drawing of the muscles but um, then we still need to translate that into the actual asanas that we are um, going through through the meetings that we are analyzing and uh, um, taking apart and putting back together and for that, I think that it's quite, it is very, it is very useful um, to have these blended, uh, blended learning. But what I wanted to reinforce what you said earlier in terms of you, you don't have these little interactions, um, which are standing in the kitchen making a cup of tea and then getting stuck there because you know you, you talk about whatever uh, you're teaching or what you have experience or um, any questions or just little <clears throat> chit chat and um, also the same for lunch you know to maybe spend lunch together so in my, in my courses we always spend uh, lunch we always have shared lunch um, people, most people join in, some they need to go for a walk and then join in later, but it is something about sitting there with others and talking and um, yes, and just being together in that, um, in that, coming back to the energy, being together <laughs> in that energy, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. I just want to say hi to Rebecca. Rebecca Patterson has just joined. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Hello, Rebecca. Yeah. My niece, my niece has joined, which is so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so it is, you know, the, the, sometimes it can, it can be a little bit, um, as you say there, catch it remote, you know, if you're just, if you're just being on that fully online, you can feel very isolated as well. And, you mm. know, to, to come together, you're building a community and you're also, you're working with, you're, you're in a training course with people who will be your colleagues. They will be, um, they're your peers, but they will be your colleagues going forward as well. And it's those little interactions that you say, um, oh, you live over. You live over in Richmond. I know somebody who's looking for a yoga teacher over there. Or they, you know, we need somebody for back care in this uh, yeah, yoga yeah. for back care. So it definitely it creates opportunities like like that. You know, the share, the collective experience. There's something very, um, very much uh, important about that. Mm, you know, rather absolutely. than being being remote, yeah. Yes, yeah. What I think uh, a complete online course is useful or is is more suited if you already have a training done, and then you do modules or you do ongoing uh, training, do specialized training. I think for that because that's a completely different um, field. You know, you have this basic basic knowledge, basic understanding is there and you further yourself and um, you're familiar with whatever happens in a yoga class and um, how to adjust, how to uh, uh, progress, how to um, do your lesson plan and you know all of the, uh, whatever goes with a yoga teacher training, this is already with you. And I think for that, that's quite, uh, then it's quite useful. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And a, another thing about it, be, it being completely remote, um, if you if you live very remotely, if you live mm -hmm. remotely as well, you know, uh, if you if it's not easy to get to a course, then yeah. absolutely, it's fantastic that you have the opportunity to do the training um, yes. and access training in in that way. But I would definitely say that you would have to. 
if you're planning on doing the majority of it remotely, that you would most definitely have to have some kind of contact, yes, some kind yes. of contact as well, you know, and yeah. even, even when you're being assessed in class assessment, um, you know, you, there's so much that you can pick up, there's so much that you learn from those assessments uh, whenever we're in person rather than remotely. You know yeah absolutely it comes back to the blended to the blended course in yeah. one way or the yeah. other um that i mean both of us i think we favor that and um yes so if there's uh oh if there are any questions uh that anyone wants to ask you can do that now and while we are waiting, we can tell everyone that we are running a course, a BWYQ 300 hour certificate course, starting next March, end of March, we are going to have uh, another, we had one uh, info session already online one, and we will have another one beginning of January, 3rd of January. Um, and uh, hopefully, if all goes well, fingers crossed, maybe even in person on the 17th of uh, January, mm -hmm. having um, um, where we can meet in, in person, but where we're still talking about more the informal, um, uh, informal facts. Um, rather than going into, into content of the actual course, which will happen beginning of February. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Yes. Good. And for anyone who is interested, um, Laura, where, where can they reach you? Which so platforms? You can, you can reach me. Uh, where can you reach me? You can reach me on Instagram. Uh, you can... <laughs> You can Good reach stuff. me on my website, which is shaktiyoga.co.uk. And um, always through, if you can't reach me there, you can reach me via Catch It as well. That's right. So for me, you can reach me at Zest for Yoga, uh, either on uh, Instagram or on um, Facebook or same website address. And on the website, you find all information about the course and about um, the terms and conditions, financial co and investments, and all of that. Good. Okay. So, thank you, Laura, for You're joining. You're welcome. So nice to see you, Katya. And thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you. I think Nikki's there as well. Nikki came in uh, to join, which is really nice. So, which is lovely. Yes. Okay. Speak okay. Soon. And. We'll see each other again next Tuesday. Okay. At the same time. And we'll talk about a different subject. Okay. See you then, everybody. Bye, Katya. See then. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Laura. Big hug. <laughs> okay. So, thank you.